sometimes celebrities effortlessly bring their A-game to interviews, gracing us with quick-witted comebacks and roasts that are pure entertainment. In one of the most savage interview moments of her career, the host asked Selena Gomez how she met Taylor Swift, and she took that moment to take a not-so-subtle shot at her ex. How did you guys first meet? We actually dated the Jonas Brothers. Oh. <laughs> it was the best thing we got out of those relationships. <laughs> Billy channeled her inner Brit during an interview with Radio 1 that even left the host impressed with her subtle roast. Sounds pint of Guinness. Pint of Guinness. That is pint the of Guinness. I've ever heard. <laughs> you want some golly lollies? <laughs> Back when Kanye West talked about running for president for the first time, the audience thought it was a joke until Kanye made sure it wasn't, and the crowd went dead silent. When, when I run for president in 2024, we want to definitely know what y'all laughing at. When I run for president in 2024, at the Jonathan Ross show, when asked about British guys, Rihanna threw a complete curveball to the interviewer by using him as a reference for British guys, and things got awkward. Would you be interested in a, a British guy? Judging by... No, no, let's not, no, let's not... Not, not sure. everyone can live up to this standard, Rihanna. That would be <laughs> foolish true. of you this to hope. This is true. But you have to reach for the stars, you know? <laughs> On his show, Heart to Heart, Kevin Hart had a brutal reaction when Don Cheadle mentioned his age. And me, you know, I'm 56 years old. Damn! I'm sorry. But well, when it was Mark Wahlberg turn for an interview, he was not going to let age discrimination slide and called him out for it. As a young guy trying to achieve the success that you have already achieved. You ain't that young. When, well, stop just, with everybody that's a little on. bit older. Well, let's just, wait a minute, nobody. Do Don, a legend, so dirty like that. Out of the Jonas Brothers, Kevin Jonas remained a little more low-key and didn't have as much visibility as the other group members. During the Jonas Brothers family roast, Lily Sings made a brutal comment about Kevin. Todd, Kevin is actually my favorite Jonas Brother. Yeah, he is. Mine too. Because he makes you believe that anyone can be a pop star. When you see a picture of him next to Nick and Joe, you always think, wow, Nick and Joe are really close with their accountant. Taylor Swift is a talented songwriter that not only writes her own songs, but also is co-written for other massive celebrities. During an interview with Jimmy Fallon, she took a cheeky jab at the music industry. I, I find it funny thinking about if I were to have like a, like a party for all the songwriters on that song. Really? Yeah, because it would just be me. <laughs> At an interview in Japan, the host was interested in learning to speak English, but let's just say Leonardo DiCaprio wasn't the most helpful teacher. I'm really interested in learning English right now. Mm. Please tell me what your favorite word is. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> After Nikki released her perfume, she was doing some press for it. And when the interviewer admitted she didn't buy the perfume yet, Nikki's reaction was hilarious. Did you smell my perfume yet, Angela? Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I promise I did. But no, you didn't I buy stay, it. I stay up on it. But you didn't buy it. Not yet. Okay, because, okay, you a hater. In one of the most savage and hilarious excuses to get out of a family gathering, Kim Kardashian lied to her sisters about having injured her leg. But in a turn of events, Kendall and Kylie Jenner decided to surprise Kim with flowers to cheer her up. And well, they caught her moving just fine. I just really thought that you guys would be more offended if I said I forgot. Kim, but you could have just told us the truth. You know, enjoy your flowers. Even the most experienced interviewers drop the ball sometimes. My biggest fear is sharks. Seriously? Yeah. But where do you find yourself in a situation where you could somehow be hurt by a shark? When I swim in the ocean. <laughs> what kind of question is I that, know, bro? Maybe. Okay, even Tony Stark would be proud of the level of wit Robert Downey Jr. showed in an Avengers press conference, where he kept not being asked questions. I must be mellowing with age, but I want to say this very clearly. The next time I'm not asked the first question... <laughs> With Jackie Chan being in over 150 films and constantly averaging three movies per year, I'm sure he doesn't have that much time on his hands. And apparently he hasn't even heard of the Kardashians. Name your favorite Kardashian. Who do you like? Kardashian? <laughs> What's mean Kardashian? Do you know the Kardashians even no, better? <laughs> I don't know. 
You don't know that. Is that English? <laughs> That's English. I never heard that there before. A not so known fact is that Julia Roberts and Don Rickles are neighbors, but that didn't stop Don from savagely roasting her at the AFI Awards. I'm living about two blocks from it. The broad never shows up. Come by and say hello. We're closer than two blocks. <laughs> you have no lines, Julia. Just nod. <laughs> anyway. Uh... Okay, David Letterman might have gone a little too far by subtly roasting Lindsay Lohan for having substance problems. And this took Lohan by surprise because she just went on to promote the movie and didn't get a heads up about the topics he wanted to discuss. And how long will you be in rehab? Uh, three months. How many times have you been in rehab? Several. And what, what, how will this time be different? What are they rehabbing, first of all? What, what is on their list? What are, do you drink too much? We've discussed this in the past. Oh, did we really? You go to the rehab, what do they well, do? Let's, let's, this is, we have to, we're here for a movie. Okay, maybe correcting Mike Tyson is not the smartest move to make, but Bill Brule managed to roast Mike on his own show. He made headlines in October 2000 and 2000 after controversy <laughs> monologue. You know, my own 2000 and 2000, Mike, that's 2020. Listen, Those man, Brownsville that, schools, man. <laughs> Phil, tell me, man, but listen, right? With Us Weekly having reported that Ben Affleck cheated on his now ex-wife Jennifer Garner with their nanny, and some rumors that he cheated on J-Lo as well, his reputation on this area has not been the best. So when presenting an award to Matt Damon, Ricky Gervais made a joke about his lifelong friend Ben Affleck, which left Matt speechless. He's also the only person who Ben Affleck hasn't been unfaithful to. Please welcome Matt Damon. Thank you. Um, <laughs> when an interviewer seemed to be more infatuated with Megan Fox than asking questions relevant to the movie, she just started giving some silly answers. Every, I, I don't know if there's a man alive who's not in love with you in some way. You're so silly. You know what I'm, I'm am I really? You're a silly No, man. I'm not silly at all. You're a silly man all. in a checkered shirt. I am not, wow. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel was questioning Steve Harvey about his crazy net worth until he gave him a very blunt response. Are you a billionaire yet, Steve? You've no. got to be a billionaire. I, uh -oh. I've just been trying to add it all up. Well, if I was a billionaire, I, I wouldn't be on your show. <laughs> Even though there is some truth to it, jealousy doesn't always stem from jealousy. Matt Reif was mentioning that he came to an epiphany in Tana Mojo's podcast and she quickly came with a counter argument. The epiphany that I've had recently, the, because so many people hate me for really no reason, mm. and it really made me realize that like people only hate somebody they're jealous of. And I've been I've been guilty of hating people. And when I really sat back and thought about it, it was because I was jealous of where that person was in their life. I felt like maybe they got an opportunity that I should have gotten. That was yeah. a really really good well rounded answer. I'm trying to wrap my Thank head you. around. Do you think people who hate Osama bin Laden are jealous of him? <laughs> yeah. Green Lantern was a film starring Ryan Reynolds that bombed at the box office and was not well critically received. During a BBC Radio 1 playground, insults even Ryan Reynolds knew it was game over when he heard Green Lantern. I've never seen Green Lantern. Neither so have I. It's just from, you haven't either? No, the editor did not even see it. But <laughs> <laughs> Nocebo effect is the opposite of placebo effect, where a person experiences negative effects simply because they believe a substance or situation is harmful. Scott Disick thought Kourtney Kardashian was experiencing this when she all of a sudden claimed she was allergic to a lot of different foods, so decided to secretly give her those foods, and it had no effect on her. She's just lost it. I don't even think she knows what gluten is. I don't. Do you? No. Does anybody? I'm sure. Back when Rihanna could walk down the street without hundreds of paparazzis hounding her down, MTV tried to prank her on the show Punked by having some actors pretending to be street performers claiming she stole from them. But she was quick to shut it down. And you took Who we know that we need to steal? Here, $10. Now y'all got $15. Will y'all leave us alone? It's God bless you. Simon Cowell is known to be the judge that doesn't sugarcoat things. Instead is straight up honest. I've got the voice, i got the look, i got the confidence, I've got the personality. I'm gonna give you three out of four on that. Chris Rock definitely had a rough upbringing, being the eldest of seven children with his father being a truck driver who worked long hours. He even dropped out of high school and finally got a lucky break when he was discovered by comedy legend Eddie Murphy. So when Kristen Stewart was talking about not wanting to get jobs handed to her, Chris Rock could not relate. I really like to fight for jobs. I hate the feeling of suddenly being like, oh, well, you know, Kristen can have it because she'll just because she can. I, 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 you know what I mean? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> Give me the job. <laughs> I don't care if everybody's better than me. <laughs> well, the parts for a Mexican. Yeah. 
At the finale of America's Got Talent, Joan Rivers came with the smoke for all the judges. If I want to see three people who make tons of money and have no talent, I will not watch you guys. I will watch the Kardashians. It is... At least I can get three NBA tickets. Now... Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor had one of the best trash talks leading up to their iconic fight. They want you to give us a quick count to ten, both of you gentlemen, if you don't mind, just if you wouldn't mind counting to ten. Nate can only count to five. <laughs> ten. Oh. It's believed that the email scandal was what cost Hillary the presidency back in 2016, in which allegedly she deleted a bunch of emails. At the peak of the scandal, she sat down to do an interview with Zach Galifianakis, and his signing off was brutal. Well, this has been a lot of fun, Mrs. Clinton. We should stay in touch. What's the best way to reach you? Email? When Stephen A. Smith was implying that his fans were perhaps a little more sophisticated and debating Klein and Kevin Hart's fans, he quickly learned not to try to go back and forth with the comedian. Mm. People might walk up to you occasionally and they might want to just take a picture with you and mm -hmm. say, congratulations, great work. Mm -hmm. With me, they want to debate. Mm. My life is harder. Well, Stephen, here's what I want you to realize. A, you're lying. Nobody comes up to you. Okay? Stephen A. Smith does not have one fan. <laughs> not one. There's never been a request for a picture. There's never been a request for a debate. You are snap, you're, you're snap finger famous. That's the guy, that's the, what's the guy that's on the, uh... Chris Hemsworth and Tom Holland were asking each other questions in Unsuited when the topic of favorite actors came up. Liam Hemsworth is up there, man. He's great. <laughs> He's great. In Hunger he? Games yeah. is really good. Any other Hemsworths? That Luke Hemsworth Luke is Hemsworth. also yeah. super talented. Yeah. Super, super and talented. And if you had to have one more Hemsworth, any, would there be... I think... Would it start with a C? India Hemsworth has potential. She India. could grow up to be a yeah. great... But well, eventually karma did catch up to Tom when he made an appearance as an audience member on The Jimmy Kimmel Show, and he was on the receiving end of the answer. How about an actor whose name begins with Tom? <laughs> oh. How about that? Tom Cruise. He's great. He's good. Yeah, Top Gun! He's good. He's good. Yeah. He's good. Okay, yeah. I can sit the fight for you again. What if his second name began with an H? Tom H. Oh. Hanks. <laughs> Tom Hanks. Bobby Lee's interview on New Day Cleveland was complete chaos all throughout, but had some great moments. You are the only person yeah. ever in, in, the, in my career here yeah. to get that close to my face. He's the only are person I've ever let get that close to married? my face to. No, so does that mean it doesn't Do matter then? Yes, we, it, yes, we all, it's yes. It's not working out though, is it? Uh, no, it doesn't feel like it is. No. Yeah, because your energy is like, it's a little too strong. I have a relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah, and so how's I'm yours going? Really good. Really? Yeah. How long have you been together? Four years, and it's strong. It's really strong? Yeah. And she's way better than you. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you ever watched any Quentin Tarantino movie, it most likely showed feet at some point. But when Once Upon a Time in Hollywood came out, a lot of viewers were very confused about so many feet shots. And even Brad Pitt made a joke at the SAG Awards and thanked his co-star Margot Robbie's feet. I want to thank my co-stars, uh, Leo, Margot Robbie, Margot Robbie's feet, Margaret Qualley's feet, Dakota Fanning's feet. Seriously, Quentin has separated more women from their shoes than the TSA. Ryan Gosling is one of those laid-back people with a great sense of humor. So when he slipped up during an interview, he took the mocking like a champ. And Ryan Gosling, how are you guys? Thank you. Okay. Oh, well, good. good. Thank you. <laughs> how are you? Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. And that's all for today. Well. <laughs> good night, everyone. 50 Cent was a part owner of the Vitamin Water brand, and it was acquired for $4.1 billion in 2007. So he walked away with a lot of money from that deal. So in an interview with Power 106 FM, the hosts were flabbergasted by the fact he was still working, and 50's response was incredible. What's the biggest check that you've seen at one time? What was that amount? About 80 million dollars, I don't know. Are you still working? Yeah, like, I mean, look, for me... <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> you, know what I'm like, you know what you... Look, my son's mom used to talk to me like that. That's why I don't talk to her no more. <laughs> Steve Carell is an unbelievably good actor and proved to have some good banter on Between Two Ferns. You know, I hear the camera adds 10 pounds. Looks like you've eaten five cameras. During the NBA 2013 star halftime show, apparently Kenny Smith's lips were dry, which prompted Kevin Hart to make a hilarious remark that made Kenny immediately start drinking water. Best be done, because if you smile fast enough, uh -huh. your lips will bleed. Right <laughs> <laughs> I'm on fire! Bow, bow, bow! <laughs> 
When Chris DiStefano joked that Theo Vaughn wouldn't get the role he auditioned for, he suffered from instant regret. <laughs> what a haircut, that's all you got left, bro. <laughs> And that's not even a haircut that you got. You, you look like one of the untouchables. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we might think that actors play roles for intrinsic reasons, but often it's purely about the money. Season after season, what what drives you to do it? Uh, the paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> really much. The money. Yeah. My yeah. kind of guy, Matt yeah. LeBlanc. Cardi B is admitted to not being the best cook, but maybe Offset took it a little too far by calling her out for burning the chicken wings at dinner on his Instagram stories. Shout it, burn the wings. <laughs> <laughs> but well, she definitely made up for that dinner considering a few weeks later on his birthday, she gifted him a check for $2 million. Which songs on your last album were about me? <laughs> Celebrities are people too, so I'm not sure why someone would ask Miley Cyrus if she's pregnant when she clearly wasn't. When MySpace creator took to Twitter to criticize Instagram terms of service, someone replied that he was the one that couldn't keep MySpace alive, and Tom from MySpace savagely clapped back. 